In this Thesis and Dissertation Services Word training video, we'll look at creating an automated list of figures and list of tables in your document. I've opened up the template and I haven't really made any changes, but this is the hand-typed list of figures. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first figure in the document and to begin the process of creating an automated list of tables and figures, what we need to do is start inserting what's called references into the document so that your so that Microsoft Word can figure out what to bring into the list of tables and list of figures and so we do this by going to references and then insert caption now you'll notice right now that the caption here is blue and bold we'll be making some changes to that because you don't want to have a lot of blue or different colored text in your document but this is a figure if you were have, starting out with tables, you could change the label to table. If you have something where you've got like a lot of maps in your document, you want to have a separate list of maps as opposed to a list of figures that contains your maps. You can also create a new label. You can make maps, photographs, paintings, if, whatever you've got to work with, you can customize so that you have a list of them. So I'm going to hit cancel because we want to work with figures. And figures are typically any graphic image, um, so charts, images of any kind can be construed as figures. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, to, I'm going to number these as one, two, three. However, you can always um, change the format if you have A, B, C. Um, that's perfectly fine. If you're working with numbered headings, where the chapter number is going to be automatically, you know, chapter 1 followed by subheading 1.1. If you've got that set up, you can include the chapter number, and the chapter number would come from heading 1, and you would use a separator. You can use a hyphen, you can use a period, colon, whatever you prefer. It's up to you, as long as you use it consistently through the document. Um, this is an option for those of you. I'm going to just stick with figure 1, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you've noticed this has taken and applied that blue and bold style to the entire um, caption. To correct this, we'll go to the Home tab, and it's set itself as a style called Caption. I'm going to right-click and go to Modify. I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to change the size to match the body text size that we've been using. I don't want it to be bold and that looks pretty good to me. So now if I highlight this text you'll see that the first one has a gray square around it while it's highlighted. This is what Word is going to read and count when it creates your list. So I'm going to delete the second instance and I'm just going to put that italic text right back on there because that's what I had before. So we'll come down to figure two, and we'll do the same thing. Click right before. Under the References tab, we will insert a caption. It's already numbered it for us here as figure two, so I can just hit OK. Delete the second reference. Highlight it. And set it to italic. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I will check back with you when we create the list of figures. Alright, I went ahead and I applied the style or applied the captions to figure 3 and figure 4. Um, now I'm going to create the automated list. So I'm going to just press return a couple times here because I want you to see um, where I bring in the automated list and how it is different and the same as the list that we hand typed here. So I'm going up to References, and instead of Insert Caption, this time we're going to go to Insert Table of Figures. Now, if you've been working with tables, you'll want to change the label to Table, right here. Um, and we've got this set up pretty well. We'll go ahead and just click OK. Now, what's different here? is that it's got exactly what I typed 
Um, in the body of the document, I didn't use colons after figure one, I used periods. And this is showing up as italicized, and that's perfectly fine. It looks like I missed applying italic to figure three. I can go ahead and correct that. Control, what I did was I pressed control and clicked. So let's put the style back on and go back up to the top. And I can fix this here then. So right click, update, update the entire table. Now another thing that's happening here is I have these with a blank line between them. They're double spaced. If I want to modify the spacing, I can just go up to insert table of figures and I'll click modify and modify again. And so I can set these to be double spaced if I wish. Or I can get them to be single spaced with, under paragraph, a half space of space after. And I'll just show you what that looks like. It'll replace it. And so you can use double spaced if you want. You can use single space with space after. Um, as long as you're being consistent throughout the document, um, it should be no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and now that I've got this looking pretty much like I want to, I'm going to just delete this extra work here. Oops. I'll put that back in. There we go. So there's our list of figures. Now, if you've got very long figure captions and you don't want like a whole paragraph of description in your list of figures, you can go down and modify the list of figures this way. I'll hold down control and click again. It takes us straight to figure one's caption. Now, if this were a whole paragraph's worth of extra information, you can press return and move it down to the next line. Um, and I will want to press return, so I leave that blank double space line after. And I will just move the whole image down to the next page, because we don't want to split up the figure caption. So what I've done is I've put a return after this line. And you'll see that if I come up to the show hide for the um, non-printing characters, I've got a return after the image, a return after the short description that I want, and a return after my longer description that I don't want to appear. So I'll come back up here to the list of figures and right click, update the field, choose entire table again and say OK. And so now that shortened version is what appears. This happens because Microsoft Word will only read the caption as a caption between the label and the end of what it reads as a paragraph. So that's the best way to take care of this. Next, let's jump down and take a look at our tables. So here I am at the only table in my document. Now if you've only got one or two tables, this is really more trouble than it's worth. It's almost easier to hand type the table of contents, but I'm going to show you for um, reason, just to make it so that you can see both sides being done. Um, same way as before, we'll go up to references and insert caption. And this time, instead of having it be the fourth figure in the document, I want it to be the first table. And I'll say OK. Again, we've got table one and table one. So I'm just going to delete the second instance. It looks like we've got a little extra space happening here, so I'll just delete that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So we'll then go back up to where our list of tables is. All right. Now I'm going to press return a couple times just so you can see the difference between what was hand typed and what's going to be automatically placed. And we'll go to insert table of figures again. It's the same button. Again, we'll just make sure that we've got the right caption label showing here. And we'll say OK. But we don't have the full title showing up here. So to fix this, we'll go back to the instance in the document, control and click. And I'm going to come over to the Home tab and turn on those hidden characters again. 
So before we put in a hard return so that all of the figure caption wouldn't show. Now the full table title does not want to show. To fix this, I'm going to delete that hard return and press shift and then return. And I'm also going to set this as single spaced. I think that um, that will look a little bit better. Most captions will look better single spaced as well. And what I've done was I've pressed shift and return, so I've gotten this strange little arrow marker here. What this does is it, it creates the spacing that you would get when you press the return key without inserting that hard return that allows Word to know when the end of what you're wanting to include appears. So it's going to read from the label and the marker through to the next hard return. So that lets us have our spacing. I'm going to put the uh, line back across that we had. And let's make it a little bit bolder. There we go. So that looks more like what we had before. Now, if I go back up to my list of tables, I'm going to right click, update, make sure to get the entire table, and say OK. And so now we've got the full table title. And we can get rid of the other one, hide the figures, or hide the, rand hide the hidden characters once again. And we've correctly inserted our list of tables and our list of figures. They'll be automated from here on, and we're good to go.